So back here at the Inventors Lab at Betsy, and we have an interesting innovation right here. Uh, what's your name? I'm Peter Hollebrandsen from the Netherlands. Peter from the Netherlands. Of course you're seven feet tall. He's a Dutchman. All right, so you've come up with a kind of a modification to a drum brake that looks very interesting. Tell us about this. Yeah, right. This is a normal Stummy Archer drum brake, normally used in a lot of fellow mobiles. Normally it's mechanical operated, but I converted it to a hydro like operations. This way it breaks much better and has much finer feel in, in, in your brake uh, lever. So I built it six years ago already on my, my, my uh, bike and it still works pretty well until this day. So I thought maybe I bring this to Spezi and see if people are interested in it. Peter, show us exactly what you've done so that they see. Right. It. Yeah, yeah. So I took out the mechanical parts here uh, and, and then built in a hydraulic uh, body. Yeah, hold, that, some, hold that up for a second. Yeah. Yes. yeah, hydraulic body with two pistons which directly push to, to the brake shoes without any, any friction. So that creates a much better uh, brake performance and brake feel. Great, and so hopefully you've had a chance to show this to a number of people already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of people are interested in, uh, today um, from companies as well as private persons. Um, yeah, so we're considering to offer a, a kit to, to uh, convert a mechanical drum brake to a hydraulic uh, right. drum brake. So yeah. that's the point, is you'll create a, a kit for folks to be able yeah, to right. do this for themselves. In cooperation with the Fahrerwerk, I use the Fahrerwerk brake lever. It's a very good uh, lever for this purpose, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Well, best of luck with the innovation that you, you have. Great work. Thank you, Gary. Okay.